What it means to be a Rosicrucian. On Sunday, August 12th, 2018, I was blessed and deeply inspired by my initiation into our local Rosicrucian Praneos. That evening when I got home, I decided to meditate for a while on what being a Rosicrucian means to me personally. When I was finished meditating, I wrote down some of my thoughts on what it means to me to be a Freighter RC. I took these notes and wrote them out in the form of a meditation and an affirmation. I then read these affirmations aloud and used classic Rosicrucian artwork to create a video meditation and affirmation. The purpose of the meditation is to listen to the affirmations each morning in order to help shape each day into a Rosicrucian learning experience and to remind myself of my Rosicrucian vows and responsibilities each and every morning to help guide each and every day into being a happy and meaningful experience. When I think about what it means to be a Rosicrucian, when I think about what it means to be a Rosicrucian, I think about the Rosicrucian manifestos published some 400 years ago their effect on humanity and the sincere desire so many readers of the Fama and the Confessio had in wanting to meet and join the Brotherhood of the Rose Cross and how I share that same desire. When I think about what it means to be a Rosicrucian, I think about the chemical wedding of Christian Rosenkreutz and how the seven days of the story can be seen to represent the seven stages of spiritual alchemy the transmutation of base existence symbolized by lead into an enlightened state of consciousness as symbolized by gold. When I think about what it means to be a Rosicrucian, I think about the freighters and sorors that have come before me, who in the face of persecution and even imprisonment never wavered in their sincere desire to be a member of the fraternity of the Rose Cross. When I think about what it means to be a Rosicrucian, I think about the ancient Egyptian mystery schools and the very first Rosicrucians of Akhenaten passing down his knowledge and wisdom to those who had proven themselves to be worthy students. When I think about what it means to be a Rosicrucian, I think about Pythagoras continuing the tradition of mystery schools how his students spent five years without speaking so that when they finally did speak again, they did so with an introspection and a self-awareness only a student of the mysteries could possess. When I think about what it means to be a Rosicrucian, I think about the fraternal lineage of the Knights Templar, the Sufis, the Albigensians, the early Christians, Gnostics, the Kabbalists, and there being leaks in the same Gnostic chain in which Rosicrucians are an integral link. When I think about what it means to be a Rosicrucian, I think of H. Spencer Lewis, the restorer of Rosicrucianism, bringing the ancient mystery traditions to America, who remained dedicated to revitalizing Rosicrucian philosophy in spite of ridicule, intolerance, and materialism. When I think about what it means to be a Rosicrucian, I think about Rosicrucian composers like Claude Debussy, who sought to express some of the Rosicrucian concepts and ideals through the medium of music. When I think about what it means to be a Rosicrucian, I think about modern day mystics such as Stephen Armstrong and modern day practicing alchemists like Dennis William Houck and the French Rosicrucian historian Christian Rabis whose book, Rosicrucian History and Mysteries, is an unequaled resource to anyone interested in Rosicrucianism. To share the title Freighter RC with these brilliant and inspiring people is an honor, and I am indeed very privileged. When I think about what it means to be a Rosicrucian, I think about the Rosicrucians that have come before me and of those that will come after me. I think about all Rosicrucians as being links in the same chain of the ancient mystery tradition. 
when I see FRC or SRC at the end of a name, that tells me I'm listening to someone who is honest, someone who is sincere, and someone who has the best wishes for all humanity as the basis for the words that they speak or write. To me, there is no greater honor than the title FRC. With the deepest level of gratitude, I sincerely wish to thank the ancient and mystical order of the Rose Cross for carrying on this Rosicrucian tradition. With that same level of gratitude, I sincerely wish to thank the members of the Eniatic Star Praneos for teaching me about the value of being a part of a Rosicrucian fraternity, for initiating me into the Praneos and the ancient mystery tradition, just as they were initiated into the ancient mysteries themselves. I couldn't think of a better group of partners with whom I could share my spiritual journey. When I think about what it means to be a Rosicrucian, I think about the many ways that I can be a good example of what it means to be a Rosicrucian. I think about the, wet, the legacy I wish to leave behind and the positive impact I would like to have on humanity as a whole. I can think of no greater honor than that of the title FRC. It is with great pride and honor that I accept this title and also with great humbleness and humility. May I be a shining example to the world around me in all situations, and may I be a strong and solid link in the Rosicrucian chain each and every day. So mote it be.